Before we proceed any further with our course here, I recommend that uh, the next thing you do is configure the categories for your grade book. It'll make things much easier as we go. So every course, if we open the syllabus, has a specific way of calculating the grades or assessing how students are learning in the course. So for example, in this course, we have quizzes and labs and class labs. They are 25% of the grade. There are two exams, a midterm and a final exam, and those are 25. Then there is an e-portfolio, that's 15%. And then weekly assignments, they are 25%. And then presentation and contribution to the class, that is 10%. could say that these are categories. Each item here, it's a category, and within that category, there are sub-items to it. For example, quizzes, there could be six or seven quizzes. There could be class labs, another seven of them. That makes it 13 or 14 items there just for that category. So we need to tell the system in the grade book that we are going to have different categories for this course, for all the activities, assignments, quizzes, and uh, discussions, forums, and so on. The key is that all these categories add up to 100%. So we are going to go to the course in e-learning, and then we are going to go under grades. This is where we specify the categories click on grades and then we need to click on categories and items under categories and items notice that the default for the course it's weighted mean of grades that is the aggregation if you're not sure as to what these uh, components are you can also click on this blue question mark so we need to leave the default here as weighted mean of grades then we need to click on add category and add all the categories that we are using or working with before. So if we know this back here, those were the categories, quizzes and so on. So now let's go back and we choose categories. Add a category and then the first one will be quizzes and class assignments leave everything the way it is if you want to drop the lowest quiz this is where you can specify to drop the lowest one or the two lowest and so on for the students and then we leave everything alone and then click on save changes so notice we have quizzes and class assignments then we scroll down again we add the next category and we're going to make this exams next category then we choose projects and then another category presentations now under weight the next item here the next thing that we need to do we need to change the weight so that for that specific category so if we look in our syllabus the first one the quizzes and labs that was 25%. Exams, let's say 40%. Projects, 10%. Presentations, 25%. So all of these should add up to 100. 25, 65, 75, 100. Under the, the aggregation for the subcategories, you can choose to have them weighted mean of grades. That means that each assignment can be weighed differently. However, most of the time, it's best to just choose simple weighted mean of grades for those sub-assignments, not the top one, just the subcategories. So change this to simple weighted mean of grades for all of them and then specify the category weights so unfortunately it didn't save the last ones because I didn't click on save changes and then save changes at this point we are done with the configuration of the gradebook the way it works from here on is that when we create an assignment what well, during the process of the creation of the assignment there will be an option as to what category does this assignment fall under 
and then we just specify let's say it falls under exams and then it will show up directly under the exams option but you don't have to mess with that from here so at this point we return to e-learning and we are set with defining the categories